Here's your daily dose of fitness, food, and fun. Angelica's daily surprise starts now. Kind of warming up these shoulders as well. Yeah, do you hear them? Crack. Crack, 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 crack. You have way more mobility than I do. I'm just a ball of tightness. You're a man. You're going to give me a toe touch. So we're going to reach back. You're going to go left arm. <laughs> <laughs> I slid off my mat. Hello there and welcome to my apartment. Today is a workout day. Now, you and I were the same. We're busy and we can barely find the time to work out and take care of our bodies. So, surprise, today I came up with the idea of doing a super action-packed, effective workout in just under nine minutes. I believe we can do it. Now, who better to guide me through this workout than head strength coach of Monvita Sports in Toronto, Stephen Moniz. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, I'm scared. All right, <laughs> let's go. So we're gonna start off, you're gonna give me a lunge. We're gonna do an in-step stretch. All right, so you're gonna give me a big stretch. We're gonna do a rotation open it up, and then we're gonna come back up, all right? So we're gonna do a couple of reps of this. Oh, so right? this is like strength this and flexibility. Strength and flexibility just to get you fired up, right? All you right. wanna warm your body up. You just can't go into this like cold, Yes, right? no, you so can't. drop it down, good. Give me that in-step stretch. You got some mobility there, right? Look at that open, oh, perfect. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's okay. <laughs> Going the wrong way, you know, sometimes it works too. <laughs> I'm getting some opposition here. <laughs> opposition. Perfect. You're going to do one more. Awesome. Love it. Okay, now we're going to transition. We're going to do a set of inchworms. All right. So you're going to walk out with those hands. So walk out all the way, all the way, all the way. There we go. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to walk back up. So. We're kind of warming up these shoulders as well. Yeah, do you hear them crack? It's like crack, 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 crack. It's like we're warming up. We're warming up. Good. Walk it back in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add. So we're going to walk out. We're layering. This is like we're building a cake. So you're going to walk out. Now we're going to do a push-up. All right? So push-up down. Okay. Lead with the chest. A lot of people tend to, when they're doing a push-up, they lead with the chin. And I always say, try not to bob, you know, for those apples. You want to kind of keep that chest up. <laughs> so, no, you don't want to be like a chicken. Yeah, don't want to be a chicken. You know, lead with the chest, come down, touch, walk back up. Perfect. Now we're going to be layering on top of this. So you're going to walk out. Got this, Angelica. You're doing great. Thank you. So we're in this plank, right? We're going to be doing a set of shoulder taps. Ooh. Now, what we want to focus on with the shoulder taps, continue. Continue it's, to shoulder tap. <laughs> making sure that our hips are not rotating side to side. Yes, I'm always trying so. to minimize the wavering when I do this. Yes, good. You, you're doing really well right now. So keep that core braced, your spine neutral, right? Angelica's looking down at the floor. She's not dropping her chin. No. Right? Head is in line. Not bobbing for Perfect. apples. No bobbing for apples. Good. Now, from here, you're going to give me a toe touch. So we're going to reach back. You're going to go left arm. <laughs> <laughs> I slid off my mat. <laughs> the mat's gone. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're going to do a set of... Let me get rid of this. You know what? Check out my floor. It's actually mm. a nice floor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So we're going to reach back. You're going to go left arm. Yes. Yes. There you go. Then we're going to go right arm. Yes. There you go. Left arm. Touch. Right arm. Touch. Now you're going to give me one last set of push-ups. No! So, yes, of course. We can do one more. That's why this is effective, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Now, we're going to walk back up. You're going to stand. Perfect. Now, we're going to get into the lunges. So, we're going to do a forward lunge, a lateral lunge, and a reverse lunge. A little upper body, a little lower body. You know, we try. We try. <laughs> so, forward lunge. Perfect. Come back up. Lateral lunge. So you're going to step out to the side. Yes. And make sure. Oh, you got it. You got it. The booty goes back. Nice and strong. Then we're going to drop it back into a reverse. Yes. And okay. you're going to repeat this. Okay. This is, this is a full on clock lunge. Clockwork lunge. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Clockwork or lunge. <laughs> clockwork or lunge. Good. Lateral lunge, reverse lunge. Now, while you're doing this exercise, you want to make sure everything is neutral, right? Core is braced. You're not a wet noodle. 
You know, you don't want to be a wet noodle. No. Wet noodles. Al dente, all the way. <laughs> all about the al dente. Good. Then you're going to switch. Okay. Because we got to keep things even. Yes. Right? Because you don't want to be lopsided. It's the worst look ever. <laughs> <laughs> Walk out of your apartment, you're kind of like, you know, one side, you don't want to be that. Good, lunge, perfect. Like, again, Angelica's core is nice and tight. She's lateral lunging. You might feel a little stretch on the inside of the leg when you're doing that lateral yes, lunge. Yes, a little inner thigh stretch. A little inner thigh. You don't want to feel too much of a stretch, right? You can do one more. Perfect. Give me the lateral. Boom. Look at that. I had to jump out of the way for that. <laughs> that was very dynamic. Watch out. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Now we're going to go into, we're going to grab our dumbbells because we need our dumbbells. Okay. These are five pounders, by the way. Five pounders, but they're lime green. They just like, you know. <laughs> They go with the set. That's <laughs> why we picked them. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do a single leg deadlift with the row. Okay. okay? So we're going to, we're going to play this up. So start with that single leg deadlift mm -hmm. and then we're going to do a row just like that. Yes. And then you're going to stand up. So we're going right. to combo. These are combo exercises. You like the one-legged stuff, I don't you? I love the one-legged stuff. <laughs> so you're going to cross body on that deadlift, but mm -hmm. then you're going to give me a row at the bottom. Row. Perfect. And I'm squeezing my shoulder blades exactly. as I do that. Exactly. Controlling up. Why am I touching my toes down? <laughs> Trust me, nobody's harder on me than I am on myself. Nice. Ah. There you go. And I will not. A common touch mistake down. with this one: a lot of people tend to lead with their elbow. That kind of puts their shoulder in a bad position. Yeah. You want to lead with that shoulder blade. I've noticed just observing people. <laughs> <laughs> observing. Nice way of staring. Saying staring. Just like. But they go, Ugh, and yeah. it's like that's so bad. Yeah, yeah. You want so to don't keep do that. You know, shoulder blades moving as much range of motion as you possibly can. That's great. Good. Switch it up. Other side. Cool. So we're going to do one side and then we're going to do the other side. Want to keep things even, like I said. Core is braced. So when you're coming down, right, you don't want to get slouchy. Nobody, nobody likes that slouch, right? No. If you train slouching, you're going to end up slouching. That's exactly it. I, you obviously don't train slouching. No. So it's pretty solid. <laughs> Good. You're going to give me one more repetition. Yes, perfect. So now from here, we're going to go into a squat and a press. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. We're going to go one-sided. So this can be challenged with a heavier bell if you do have one at home. Yes. And it kind of like offloads the body, so you really make sure that you're using your core when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to squat down, and then you're going to press straight up. Okay? okay. So down, and then press. Okay? So we're going to do a set of five of these per arm. And I'm trying to keep my arm lifted. Yes. Because I've noticed another thing is it's very easy to drop it in between. That's exactly it. But it's it. like it becomes much more difficult to sustain a uh, proper form when you keep the arm lifted. I like that. And it also shows your pipes. <laughs> <laughs> My little tiny pipes. <laughs> Good. That's it. Two. Perfect. Same thing with the squat. You can make it even harder by pausing it down at the bottom position. I'm gonna try that. Uh -huh, I like it. Yes. Shows the stability <laughs> in the hips, right? Mm -hmm. Glutes glutes are firing. Are they firing? Oh, yeah, big time. Like, really going. Really going. <laughs> Good. Uh, Get a and pause. I love it. Two. <laughs> Three. Nice, I love it. Four. Perfect. One more. Awesome. Five. Wow. Not bad. Yes. Now, we cannot do a workout without finishing off with some core. Yes. Okay, we need some core in this. So I thought gonna you were going to say a cool down, and then I'm like, yes, let's stretch. And then you're like, core, and I'm like, okay. Let's get back. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do a set of side planks, okay? So the side plank, we can, we can make this as hard or as easy as we want it. Right. Okay? So we can start off just off the knees, mm -hmm. we can go to the toes, and then we can get fancy and spice it up oh. by lifting. And okay. Start, you know, playing around with the lifts. So that's some... three different levels of modifications for you there exactly. to choose from. Yeah. So lots of modifications. Okay. You know. So we're going to get into that side plank. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And my feet stacked? Your feet are stacked. Depending on the person, sometimes you can stagger, right? To help I, I always stagger, but I'm like, is there a huge difference in that? It's not a huge difference. It's just, you know, the point of balance changes big time, right? Yeah. Now, you also have a choice. You can be on your hand or you can be off your forearm. Okay. Right? 
I, I have sensitive wrists. Right. <laughs> from all the abuse over the years. No, I know. So People like are like, oh, you're a personal trainer. You must be in great shape. And it's like, well, you repeat <laughs> a lot of these moves for other people's benefit. That's exactly it. And then you end up kind of hurting yourself. And then you're like, and this is what you don't want to do. <laughs> it's okay. So, so I'm going position. Perfect. One. Yes. And I would even hold that position. Now we're going to lift up one leg. Oh, yes. so we're static. Now we're static. Now we're going to bring it down. Perfect. We're going to do it again. Repeat. Up, hold, lift. Love it. Look at that. Now, when we're doing a side plank, you're going to make sure that your spine is neutral. So I should be able to draw a line from Angelica's head down to her feet. Okay, so it should be one straight line. Some people tend to do the side plank like this where their butt is coming back, right? We want to make sure everything is nice and tall. Now we're going to switch. <laughs> <laughs> I did three sets. I, I, like, I like the automatic. And yeah. we're going to switch. It's like you can't reading stop my me mind. if I'm already on the other side. <laughs> it's like she's reading my mind. Good. Lift. Perfect. The Stable. pausing is really key here. Yes. Because it's very... Not easy, but it's less challenging to just continue to move through something. That's it. Everything. Rather than to find it. Not bad. Good. Another thing you want to watch out for is pushing the hips back just a tad. Yes. Mm. Good. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking for. Wow. <laughs> yes. You really feel it there. Exactly. Well. How, do I cool down? Do I stretch now? Now we're going to cool down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what well, we're going to start off, we're going to, I like doing this. I kind of bored it from uh, a yoga teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's actually great. I just kind of added some of my own modifications to this, but this is how we're going to start. So you're going to get into a prone position, right? Lying down on your stomach. Make sure you have a mat. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> in case, just in case you're going to come up into an upward dog or cobra, depending on the teacher that you talk to. Ah, oh, yes. Good, like that? Good front Good of the stomach and the hips. Good, then we're gonna drop down again. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna come back up. So, you're gonna come back up into that upward dog. Uh -huh. You're gonna point your toes into the ground. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our hips up to the ceiling. So, send the hips up to the ceiling. Perfect. Feel that stretch? Yeah, I love a good downward dog. <laughs> good old downward dog. Uh, now, from here, we're going to lift up our right leg. Okay. You're going to come up, and you're going to reach oh. to the opposite. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good. And we should feel that in our quad and our hip, and also the side of our core. Oh. Good. Obliques. Nice. All right. Now, from here, we're going to send that right leg right through into a pigeon stretch. A little pigeon. There you go. Little I love pigeon. me a good pigeon. Good. Now, we're going to be in this position, right? Feel the stretch. You feel the stretch? I do. You got My some foot's stuck under the couch. Okay, now it's not. <laughs> Foot's locked. Okay, <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold forward just a tad. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a big deep breath. Oh, yes. And then out. <sighs> good. It's in the spot. Yeah, it is. This is the spot. It is the spot, big time. Good. Now, you're going to come up. You can hold it as long as you want, um, but we're going to move through this. We're going to point the toe again, mm -hmm. move the leg back. You're going to give me a little pedal, a little pedal out those yes. feet. Yes. There you go. Good. Now, from here, we're going to lift up the left leg. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the exact same thing. So open. Not bad. You have way more mobility than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a ball of tightness. You're a man. Ball of tightness. <laughs> Good. So now we're going to send that leg through into that pigeon stretch. <sighs> Good. And I think my foot is stuck underneath. Yeah, the no, we're, our feet are both stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Breathe. Big deep breath. And oh, yes. you can hold it here as long as you want. Uh, and then you can eventually fold down. Mm -hmm. I can Go do a semi-fold here. Yeah, you can do a semi-fold. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Good. Feel that Trying stretch. Trying to keep my hips square. Key. That is key. And then from here, we're going to posture up again. Right. Point that toe. Send those hips back for that downward dog one more time. Make sure your feet don't get stuck underneath the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to send your body forward. Lower yourself down. Good. Child's pose. Child's pose. Good. And then you're going to sit back, reach those arms forward, mm -hmm. thumbs up. It really feels that 
like where you feel your lats. Stretching them out, just like that. You feel that? Yes. Good. Breathe, and we are done. Oh. Not bad, Angelica. See, you can get a great workout. Now, I may have exaggerated a little bit. It was a little longer than I said, but in for a penny, in for a pound, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that was such a great workout in just under 15 minutes, which is super exciting. And you can improve upon your physical health and mental well-being and then get on with your day. Thank you so much, Stephen. My pleasure. That's been Angelica's Daily Surprise. Hit the showers.